wait, 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 wait! Oh no! Crap! Hey guys, I'm back in Subnautica. Well, this is where I've gotten to after the crash, okay? Uh, let me just run out here real quick. I'll grab a Leah the Smash and show you basically what my base kind of looks like. Had to do a little bit of work off camera because, you know, you've already seen it so freaking many times, it's unbelievable. But, whoops, don't want to hit him. Okay. It's a pretty simple design, okay? And it actually will do everything you could possibly want. Uh, you see, I just built the two rooms back here, a double decker there, and only two moon pools. Yes, last time I had four, but you know what? I really don't need that. After making all four of those different, uh, those, those different, uh, gosh darn it, uh, sea mods, you know, uh, I decided and discovered you really only need two. You need one of them that you can go and smash into fish and everything to, to collect things in dangerous areas. Because I found that's one of the most effective ways of, <laughs> of dealing with them. It's just, just ram them. It's more fun, too, than the shock thing. You know, you just beat crap out of them, they go away. Uh, and, uh, and the other one is my exploring one that goes way deep. Uh, you know, the Rio Grande. So I have Alia the Smash and the Rio Grande. Anyways, you can see I, I went ahead and got the Brianator uh, fixed up as well. And uh, so, uh, I've done a few things, obviously. Uh, but one of the main things that I did, guys, is uh, remember I had this uh, set up at uh, the, that thermal vent. Okay, and every time you're inside, you could hear all the volcanic rumbling and everything. And, which was kind of neat for a little while, but then it just got a little noisy and annoying. Uh, so, I decided that I was going to basically run... See where? Okay, you guys no notice this is where I always built the base before, right outside this thing. Put all the little thermal generators right there. Well, I decided to throw a bunch right there and then just use those those rods, okay? And all I really needed was two of them, surprisingly enough. So, you know, you can still kind of hear a bit of a rumble this far away. But yeah, this is, if I would have built this just that much closer, then that initial rod would have shot the electrical to it with a, without a problem. So, um, but that's okay. I mean, that kind of keeps it low and uh, regardless, it, it works. It works perfectly for me. So, what I wanted to do today was kind of uh, mess around with the, the terraformer. And so, I want to go kind of off in an area that I won't have to stare at and kind of just uh, take a look and see what it actually kind of does. The, I, I've, I've used it before, but I've noticed that the, the um, uh, what it leaves behind, the scar, the scar on the, the, uh, the, the and I, I don't even know what the heck I'm, okay, does this, uh, yeah, it doesn't seem to be doing much of anything. Okay, uh, material. I should probably read up on what the heck this thing actually does. Uh, yeah, I'm a little bit okay. Left click, yeah, not happening. Let's go E, no. That's uh, great. Okay, so the terraformer doesn't seem to want to work uh, right now, based off of my ignorance, but. Uh, we could give it another try. Uh, left and a right click. I uh, yeah. Is it just the material? It's not liking. I don't want to dig the sand. Okay, I gotta go get some air. All right, guys. I tell you what. I'm gonna go Welcome figure this thing Captain. out, <laughs> and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. <laughs> I was being stupid. I needed to hold shift. <laughs> Let's try it again. Okay, so we go down here, we pull out the terraformer, shift, boom, yes, ooh. Oh, this is awesome because it's not leaving major scarring and changing the actual, oh. So, so now if I right click, uh, you see that's kind of what looks different right there. Okay, it's, see how, uh, yeah. Well, here's the deal. 
Uh, basically, what I really want to do is just remove stuff. So let's go ahead and just add a few more things in here. Okay, I'm out. Good. Okay, so I'm going to go up. What I really wanted to do was, uh, you know, when you come out of this, these, uh, these, these moon pools, you're facing this direction. So, I have a bit of a plan. So, let's go ahead and go over here, number one. Oops. Okay, that's what gets rid of it. So, let's go ahead and get rid of a little bit of this. Because when I actually, uh, uh, launch, I'm always a bit afraid of ramming into, uh, the bottom. So, let's go ahead and get rid of, yeah, that's pretty safe. That's a safe bet. Okay, so, we got rid of that. I'm feeling pretty safe now, but <laughs> here's what I wanted to do. Oops. Wrong one. I want to dig through here. And make this area big enough. Now, the key is Let's see if I can make it through so I have a place when I launch. Ooh, guess what, guys? I think this is gonna be a pretty stinking good idea. Oh yeah, check it out, guys. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if I get rid of all of this stuff here, then... Emergency. 10 seconds of Oops. oxygen remaining. <laughs> well, that's pretty simple. Let's just get up here real quick. Welcome aboard, Captain. Welcome aboard, buddy. Okay, so I'm excited, guys. This is pretty BA. Okay, so I'm going to grab some air. Hurry up. I should have just gone to the surface, but I probably would have died. But, uh, so come on, oxygen. Jeez. You're taking forever. Okie dokie. Oops. Okay, that's what I wanted to see. Gosh darn it. Okay, I need to make it big enough so the sea moth can easily get through. Okay, let's see here. Does that look pretty? No, that chunk looks like it's going to jump out and bite me into Bahungus. Okay, got rid of that too. And you look like you need to go away. Sweet. Guys. Oh, okay. Now, I well, let me get rid of that little chunk right there as well. Might as well. See you later, Buster. Okay, so let's give it a try, guys. Let's see if it worked. Okay, so let's go ahead and put you away. Uh, uh, there you are. <laughs> Aaliyah was hiding. Okay, so. So let's go ahead and dock, hop out of this sucker, and then jump back in and see what we got. Bladoink and Bladouge. Oops, okay, it's a little small. That's pretty cool though, guys. I gotta tell you, I'm pretty excited about that. I was hoping there was something I could uh, easily do. Make, maybe uh, make it a little shallower. I just don't want to undermine the rest of this. Yeah, it's pretty tight. Whoosh. Okay, that works. I can get I can get used to that real easy. Awesome. Now doing it on the other side is going to be another trick in and of itself. But anyways, guys, I just kind of wanted to get back on, show you what I did to get back to uh, where we were. So I can really start building and exploring again, and uh, sh give it, you know, show you that uh, terraformer and my idea about the quick escape. So I'm probably gonna have to dig it just a tad bit deeper uh, and work with it a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, I think it's it's perfect, guys. Anyways, hey, 
Guys, thanks for watching this video. I know it was a short one and it's not normally my, my style. I usually pump out half an hour to 40 minute videos. But uh, this one was short, to the point. Uh, let you know I am not done with Subnautica, not by a long shot. Uh, and uh, so hey, if you liked the video, hit that like button, guys, seriously. Uh, and, uh, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I, mean, I suppose, you know, you don't have to, but you know, it'd be kind of cool if you did. Uh, anyways, guys, you guys take it easy. I love you. Alrighty, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>